Alright. So, I, I just did a recording and it didn't record, so... Missed out on all kinds of stuff. Well, I drove... I pretty much drove from Rosewood. Here, I'll just bring it up on the map. It's easier to explain. This sucks. I lost a lot of the, a lot of data off my second hard drive. I drove from here, which is my first base, all the way down. Wait, this way. All the way over to here, which is right next to the military checkpoint, which is apparently half of it. And then Louisville's right over there. I haven't found even a single Louisville map yet. Weird. Ah, uh, yes. And I do still have to clear out the shooting range down here, too. You know, maybe I should actually do that while I'm out here. I should have more than enough guns and ammo to do so. But I don't have a double holster with me. This is my character that I started out with zero strength and zero fitness. And just a few scattered skills here and there. Don't even remember which ones I started with at this point. I would have been no corded, but I lost all the files. And as I went, I knew I wasn't fishing for a while. I'm pretty sure I started with this one. Like, I've attained most of these as my skills went up. I am currently on two times experience. Which I feel is a good medium. I like two times experience. It's still pretty slow. I guess it's still pretty slow. I still haven't gotten mechanics or metal work up. But I do think I actually have the resources take over the shooting range what I have an abundance of 308 all over the place I could just use an M14 and just attach a bunch of random stuff to it let's check all my 308 let's move all the 308 to the end cabinet No more 308. Okay, so 13 boxes at how many per box? 40? 40 per box. It's still a good amount of ammo. I could bring the M14 instead of the sniper rifle. I might just do that. Let's leave this sniper rifle here then. I think I might stay out here for a couple of days, so everything I don't need at this exact moment will be stored in this crate. Probably won't need those. I should be fine without that. Sneakers, shells, bandolier, I'm not gonna need that. I'm not bringing a shotgun. I might just wear one of these then. I might as well, it'll help a little bit. That's not bad, but the gun, let's let's check the gun. <clears throat> it has a magazine already. Okay, so now I need to start removing I, I at least need a sling for it. Actually, that'll work. Let's remove that skin from it, too. That lets me do that. Okay, so now I think recoil pad increases firearms aiming speed. 
should be fine. I think I think recoil pad is one I can actually use on this one. Which I don't think there was on the red dot. I like the improved iron sights though. Let's see. This place is not as organized. Nowhere near as organized as my other base. What do we got here? I, oh no, that's my super shotgun. That, that got me most of my shotgun kills. Shell straps. Scope, scope. Full health machete, whatever. Could care less about that. With 15 open and a secondary backpack with an axe, I should be fine with this setup here. But, let's look, oh, let's look to see, um, I'll grab, I'll grab four extra boxes of that, okay, let's see. Worth a shot. It doesn't say it, so. Not gonna use the M16 yet. Those are gonna be used way later on. I'm trying to save my M16s as much as possible. Which I do actually, now that I realize that I need to grab one of these and put it in here. Because I have an M16 at the other base, I just can't use it. So don't have a friggin' magazine for it. Alright. That's looking good. I think I'm ready to just blast through time. I'm ready to blast through time. Wait till the next day. I just need time to go by, dude. Once time goes by, I will be fine with everything. Read that 54 times, jeez. Oh. Jeez, how did I survive over here just by reading these? Look at this. Look at all that. Oh. I do not want the screwdriver there anymore. Let's just queue up all four. Oh, queue up all four. Speed through some time. Let's see if I can make it to bed. Nope. Right when I got there, the pain kicked in. Alright, whatever, whatever. I might, I might be able to wait out, the, actually I think I can wait out the pain. The reason I can wait out the pain is because my burpees are maxed out, my sit-ups are maxed out, my squats are maxed out. And it's, yeah, okay, this is the burpee pain. It might get, it might get worse, but it should get better fairly quick. Oh, it's getting worse. All right. So then, do I have any out? I do. Let's just drink that. Put that in there. Perfect. There we go. <clears throat> just sleep it off now. Pain came back for a second and went away. I just need to check the weather channel and then I can dip out. Oh, come on. Eleven exactly. I don't think that's going to tell me anything. 
today temperature okay I did get to it in time some clouds tomorrow clear skies moderate rain no air activity no nothing all right cool this is gonna be a little bit risky but I believe in myself to have enough ammo to do this Until I hit reloading 10, I only carry one magazine per gun, because that's how you level up reloading. But once I hit reloading 10, I'm going to carry around shit tons of magazines that are already stacked full. But I really need to go check out... I cleared that shoot, or I cleared out that hunting lodge of ammo and everything, but I did not hit... Okay. Oh, jeez, yeah. I did not hit the shooting range. And that's where I really need to go before I dip out of this place. Which means it's essentially going to be try to get this done within today's time period. And then go directly back to that base, grab all the stuff that I need, throw everything into the back, and then just get out of here head back to my other base that's over by Rosewood. It's just much safer than being out here in Louisville's uh, migration path. Because this is bad. My truck's already getting beat up. Which means I will not use this truck to actually kill zombies with if I can help it. But it's spawning... Yeah, see, it's... There's a lot of zombies down here that I left behind. Ooh. All right, I think I'm just gonna. Oh man, see that's bad. I'm just gonna try to leave them behind and lose them around this corner up here. As long as this truck can make it back to my other base, I have enough mechanics and engine parts to repair the engine. Come on, come on. Hopefully, all these ones migrated away. Just fight them. I'll try to lure them like one at a time, two at a time. I'm inconspicuous and graceful, so. I just need to get rid of as many as I can with the hand axe. There we go. I aggroed a little bit more this time. Always check my back. check everything nothing coming up behind me good good oh I had to, I had a few follow me through the trees to my truck I'm gonna have to clear them out oh and just in case anyone is wondering oh nice uh, at the very beginning of this one um, before I even made my character, I spent a bu I spent a bunch of negative point traits to become immune to the zombie effect. What I did is when I made this character, I left 20 points unspent. And then just turned infection off. There used to be a mod that did it, but it's kind of broken and I really like the idea, so that's essentially how I treated it. Except it, it, on the mod, it's only 12 points. To become immune, I spent 20. Because I feel like becoming immune t should take a lot more than just 12. Let's just 
get rid of them. Nice. All right. Clear here. Oh. Perfect. There we go. This is exactly what I needed. I don't take 22s because I don't use any 22s. But I will take all that. This is a good place to hit. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at that. That is a lot of ammo. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... Can you take it now? No? How much was the way? 13 pounds? Dude, that is, a l that is so many shotgun shells. Okay, so 9mm is nice. I don't use any 223 either. Empty camping canteen. I might as well start grabbing those. Take that Roy recoil pad. M14 battle rifle. Actually, yeah. I'll just, I'll just do that later. And I'll just grab that. That. 22. I don't use 22. It's just too weak. Even if it's accurate, it just doesn't do enough. I'll take a shell holder just to have. M1911 magazine. Desert Eagle pistol. I'll grab that. Might as well. A couple of plastic bags with nothing in them. This. See, this was a, this was worth it. This was completely worth it. I got so much ammo out of here, and I didn't even have to spend any ammo, because I decided to just take it slow. I think that's a bathroom. What's back here, then? Storage room. Might as well grab those and just drop them off at that other base. Again, just to have extras. It's always smart to have extras. I like my backup bases to be just as efficient as my main bases. Okay, let's get back to the other house. That was way faster than I thought. Let's get back to the other house. And then, ooh, okay, get back to the other house. I'll then transfer everything to the trunk of this, but I wanna get away from here as fast as possible. There is nothing left for me there ever. I will never make a base there. I will never be coming back to either of these two buildings ever again. <coughs> so yeah, because of this, I'm just... Guaranteed there's a shit ton more in the surrounding forest, so it would be useless for me to try to clear these. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. I should be in the safe zone now away from that huge ass group that was a massive group and now I, I should be good I don't think I have a propane torch at this base up here oh no Ooh, well a dead zombie never comes back respawns are essentially off um I don't think I have any kind of propane torch at this base over here. Which means this hood has to last me until I can make it back to my main base. Oh. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons. I was trying to adjust the mic. There we go, okay. I just gotta keep the engine as good as possible. Although I do have like 15 spare engine parts. So even if this engine drops down to like 10%, I'm pretty sure I could boost it all the way back up to near 100. There we go. Now I'm just gonna... I might... I think I'm just gonna floor it through here and hope none of them follow me all the way back to my base. Whew. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, because the base is already right here. Sweet. That was a good haul. That 40, I haven't even used a 44 Magnum yet, so that is perfect. 
Let's jump out. Start piling stuff into the back here. Stuff I don't need on me. I'm not going to speed up time doing this because I don't know if I aggroed anything on the way up here. Oh. Come on, there we go. Recoil pad. Shell holder, 9mm, perfect. Big old case. Look at that, dude. That is a 13 pound. That's like, I think that's 13 boxes total. That is massive. Those are going upstairs. That's going back in my inventory. All right. I think I'm good to do some item switcheroonies and then get out of here. I have more than enough time to make it back to my other base. I just don't want to be trapped here anymore. All right, so let's loot all of it. That's not good. Okay, so I'll leave the hammer here, the screwdriver here. I'll grab the sneakers, put that in my main inventory for now. I'll just throw that into the back. Okay. No more time to linger. I should eat. I think I'm going to eat a little bit more before I take off. Yeah, I'm just going to eat this canned beef. This is supposed to be my breakfast anyways. I have no clue why I didn't eat it. Boom. Let's throw that away now before I forget. Yes, and this is... This is already plumbed, so I have fresh water. Fresh water as long as I need. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that's going to go into the back, and so is a lot of this other stuff. As long as I don't get jumped, i got to be careful around these corners. All it takes is one stray zombie to get a good hit on me. I'll just leave it like that. Let's put those away. The gas mask. All those, actually. All those. And then this also. Um, actually... I can just do that. Put all of them away, grab half, put all those away too. I'm not going to need them now. I'll just store them in the back of the truck and drive home now. Sweet. And I should have enough gas. The, I've been keeping this gas tank almost perfect. That and I think I, in the game settings, I think I reduced gas consumption down to like... Uh... Just half, point zero point five. Add add a little bit more realism to it, because these tanks wouldn't empty that quick. Plus, I'm I'm doing if you if you haven't noticed, I'm doing uh, my day length for the game is two hours instead of one hour. It just helps me. It, it feels better. The days aren't epically long, but they're just uh, it's just better for me. I like it a lot more. They're loaded perfect. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to repair this hood when I get back. But I have those nails now, which is exactly what I came for. I started a base out by my other base, building a different one. Like right next, or right down the way from it. Because current my current base over by Rosewood has a really long off-road driveway pretty much the new one i'm making has a dirt road driveway that go that's a decent distance i can actually drag cars back there and do perfectly fine i just ran out of nails while building my second floor so 
here I am out here uh, grabbing up guaranteed boxes. I think I grabbed four or five boxes, which should be enough to get that base finished and then have some left over for later for like repairs and stuff in case another helicopter event happens soon, which it might. I think it's been like two or three days since the last helicopter. Yeah, it's not going too bad, to be honest. Alive for four months and eight hours. Look at that. I, that that's funny. Four months and eight hours alive. See, uh, I, I, was, I went... Uh, my first strategy when I started, since all my stats were effectively zero, fitness and strength included, uh... I went for the low risk, high or low risk, low reward areas, and just collected what I could, which has helped me a lot. It's kept me alive this entire time. It's the reason I have a base where I was able to actually do my workouts and stuff consistently, and get fitness and strength up to six from zero. That I wish I had that on video, but I lost a lot of that data. So yeah, it's not it's not a, a zero zero stat character. I did start with like angler and I think electrician, which is fine. I and then after that, I had almost no skills. I started as a school teacher, so like when I'm reading and stuff, everything's just that much better. Let's go ahead and drop to thirty for West Point. But I oh geez. I earned most of these just from leveling up my skills. Oh, uh, music. There we go. For some odd reason, the music likes to glitch out and stuff when I'm in uh, cruise control mode. Very strange. Come on, don't touch my truck, people. Just let me go home. You guys can go eat. There's stuff. Eat each other. Eat each other, man. That is definitely not a katana. Because I drove through here at the end of month one. So there's no way any of these zombies will have katanas on them. Unless somehow some of them are new or respawned in or something. But, to be honest, with all the ammo I just got, there is a good chance I could clear out most of downtown West Point just with what I've got here. It's just I would stack all my backpack full of nothing but ammo. I wouldn't even have a second backpack on me. I would just have nothing but ammo in my main backpack right here. And then just go in guns blazing, wipe out everything in West Point, and then loot up the cop shop and the hardware store, or all, uh, the food mart for some more canned food and stuff like that. It's just I'm scared that... Uh, all those resources spent and all that ammo that it's going to take. I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything in return for it because the the loot threshold is set to insanely rare. Across the board, all options are insanely rare. Ah, which is another reason I liked getting my foraging up to 10. Which I do have at 10. I have carpentry, first aid... And foraging at 10, and the rest are all scattered around at random levels. I think metalworking is going to be my next level 10, and then mechanics right after. But I'm almost on the last home stretch. I'd say I'm roughly halfway home now. Which is cool. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Like I said, I'm super. Yeah, these are my skills. On times two XP, these are my skills. And thanks to leveling these ones up enough, they ended up getting a passive bonus and stuff like that, which is really nice. Because I ended up getting Gymnast, Agile, and Light-Footed, so the, the, the bonuses on those are huge. Sneaking right when it got to three, I got a, I started getting an XP boost for it. It's really nice. It's like adaptive traits, pretty much. 
cooking and I I haven't done any cooking farming I haven't done any farming but when I do it'll go up quick Ooh, never mind I lied first aid is almost at 10 I needed first aid up really high because of the fact that I spent 20 trade points I started with zero trade points free by the way um, yeah, I ended up uh, spending 20 trait points to become immune to the zombie infection. Sorry, just make sure I'm not running into stuff. I spent 20 trait points to make sure I was immune to the zombie infection. Which is, which uh, when you start with zero free trait points, 20 is a lot. It was a lot. But I knew it would pay off being a school teacher because all my reading and learning and stuff is just that much better. It's really nice. That's also another reason I got a bonus to light footed is because the school teacher starts light footed. I just want to know what it takes for me to become brave. I should be getting that one soon because I've been alive for four months now. Only 2,078 kills. Not, not huge amounts. It's just that this playthrough is meant all about survival. I'm not trying to set records for killing anything. Damn, I hit one. Hit two. I'm not trying to set records for killing anything or doing anything crazy. I'm literally just surviving. I'm, my goal is a year. I guess technically this is a four month checkup video. But since I lost all the videos previous to this one, which irritates me, I didn't want to give up this character and all the work I put into it to restart. So I figured I'd, I'd say, screw it. I'll just start the series right here. Which is totally fine. I'm just filling in the blanks. Started with just a couple of skills, zero trade points. Uh, zero free trade points from the character menu. Started out with zero. Fi See, that's the main part. Starting out with zero fitness and zero strength. I uh, strength. I got into some fights that I uh, shouldn't be here, but I got lucky. I already have a single sledgehammer. And I'm pretty. Sh Pretty sure I already brought it back to this base over here. Because I've been out to that Louisville military checkpoint base. I've been out there. This was my third time being out there. I had one trip out there initially to get it all cleared out and set up. Which I then did. I came back. I noticed it was getting later in the year and it's going to start getting colder soon. <clears throat> then I realized I left both my sets of long johns out at that other base. So when I went out to get the long johns, I grabbed the sledgehammer and brought it back over here too. But man, with these nails, I'll be able to finish that base off. My carpentry is already at 10. That's one of the first things I made sure to level up. Mostly by making crates and taking apart beds that were inside the uh, boot camp place that I'm based up at. For the time being. You guys will see it in a little bit. It's pretty garbage. But that's why I'm building a new fortress. Just outside. Uh, just down the road, driveway of my old base. That'll make transporting shit a lot easier. Plus the driveway is nothing but dirt and bushes. And small trees and bigger trees growing in. And <clears throat> it's just terrible. It's completely terrible. So I am moving to a place where I have a dirt road that I can park my vehicles on and a wide open spot that I can uh, see with. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. I'm kind of almost back now. Shouldn't be too much longer as long as I don't frickin' crash. Because I, I have already crashed way too many times for comfort. I'm going to have to repair the crap out of this hood before I even think about driving this truck again. 
which is all right with me. But there we go. See, it's like those small trees right there, dude. They're so small and they destroy my gas tank. It's so irritating. First, the first road heading to the uh, west, north northwest, I guess technically, is where I need to be. Where I need to be. I'm only going 40, so I don't crash anymore. I'm trying my best not to. That was southeast. It should be coming up any second now. Yeah, right here. Okay, no small trees. No nothing. Okay, cool. Then it's this road. It's two more roads. And then I'm good to go. I'm almost 100% sure this entire road is clear. And so is this next one coming up. I wanted it to be slightly harder. So I turned on randomized vehicle chance to like super low because that's essentially just free loot and a free sledgehammer but I'm four months in I've searched all kinds of warehouses and stuff I've only found the one sledgehammer so I'm all right with that that that's really good odds but I haven't even been up to Riverside yet I haven't even found a map of Riverside that's what I'm waiting on I want a map I like having a map before I travel to that city Yeah, this road should be clear up until, like, right up here. I think there's a few lingering zombies down this way. Oh, I had a little bit longer than I thought. Alright, there we go. There's that cornfield. There should be some zombies walking around here, yeah. Nowhere near as many as the other places. Oh, well, he's dead. Respawns are pretty much off, so a dead zombie is a dead zombie for the most part. The way I see it is... Oh, he was alive, apparently. My bad, I guess. Uh... The way I see it is with respawn set to be like 7,400 hours before respawn type stuff. That just makes me feel like random zombies are just slowly trickling in from beyond the, the map's borders. The places you can't go, that we can't go. They're just slowly trickling in from over there and traveling through Kentucky. West Point, Kentucky, pretty much. Adds a slight bit more realism to it, because there's no way that zombies wouldn't be coming here from other parts of the map that just don't exist yet, technically. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, alright, there we go, there we go. Almost back to my base. This base over here is plumbed also, so I do have inf pretty much infinite water. It rains enough. It rains more than enough. Sorry, it rains more than enough for me to stay perfectly hydrated at all times. All right. My fortress is right down here. Uh, this truck, this truck can just stay here. I'm just gonna run up to my base and look I was able to make it perfect no god damn I need to drive up there there's <coughs> <coughs> excuse me there's too much in the in the back for me to just hoof it up there if I get jumped I die because I yeah but yeah see this is driveway look at this piece of shit driveway God damn, see that is so freaking annoying right here. And then it just grows random small trees wherever the hell it wants, pretty much. This place is garbage. That's why I'm moving out of it. Alright. 
nothing elaborate, but it's organized and it has a lot of loot. Alright, so... I can just take the helmet off now. Everything else I'll just keep the way it is. I have enough ammo for that. Alright. I know I'm safe. I'll go ahead and fill it all the way up. There it is. There it is. Oh my lord, dude, that is so much freaking ammo. It's so nice. I'm just gonna open these right now and see what it gives me. It's only four. Why did it weigh 13 then? Oh, because they're packs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let's see then. 16. Oh my. That is amazing. I am very happy for that. Uh, gun cleaning kit, definitely. Those, definitely. That, definitely. That one. Those, I'm not even going to bother opening. I'm good on that. Shell's bandolier needs to go into this one right here. With my extra shotgun shells. Put the leather strips away. Um, these long johns go here. Poncho. Actually, they can all go there. And then there's the five boxes and outs. And I'm back just in time. I think I'm gonna do a perimeter check and then probably uh, call it good. Dude, I like doing a quick perimeter check to make sure none of them just wander up from random migration paths. See random trees popping up, pissing me off. Uh, the next recording might not be exactly where this one leads off. I might just play it and not record it just because I'm doing this character for fun. It's already just a fun character now because I I lost all the, the previous video data from the beginning of it. I was going to make it a series, but oh, I'll just play for fun and survive and make as many videos as possible. Alright, I think I'm pretty safe now. I'll be working on so I'll be working on that project out there, the base. Uh, I'll still be working out a lot doing burpees and stuff. I'm not really wanting to record that either but I'll be doing burpees keeping up on my workouts. Um, let's see what else is there. I'm probably going to do a lot more exploring once I get that base, so this base right here built. It's going to be my new house right here. Um, still have I still have to go through this entire town. It's just the population was huge. But I am getting so many shotgun shells now. I am very happy for that. That's going to help me a lot. Yeah, and I already went to the military surplus. Looted mo I looted all the ammo. But there's still other stuff on the shelves that I never checked. I just wanted the ammo. Got out of there. I still have to look through this town. I didn't see anything interesting along this town, though. It's a modded town. No idea which one it is. But there's definitely a lot of water around it. Which would be amazing if I could take over... I'd probably want to take over either this one and wall it off right here or right maybe right here but probably right here or take over this one and wall it off right there because then I can just build a bridge over to this and look at this what is this like a 
a dirt bike track or something. Doesn't look like anything important. So I could actually, I totally could just make a bridge right here. Out there, it was a little too open. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't even gone into West Point yet either. That's Taylorsville. West Point's right here. But I haven't been in Taylorsville yet either. So this character's got a lot to do. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. It probably won't sync up with the next video I make. Just because, I'm again, I might play it and not record it. But I'll keep everybody filled in on how it's going. And then I'm going to think about setting up a different character and recording that one. And hopefully not losing the data from it. I need to keep it intact. But yeah, all the stats are looking good. Maintenance. I still haven't gotten maintenance from uh, axes. I haven't gotten cutter yet. That'll be a good one. But yeah, alright. I will definitely catch you guys on the next episode. I don't plan on dying anytime soon. So hopefully the next time you guys see me, I will be a brave school teacher. Alright, I will catch you guys later.